boxing um will always attract um characters like Paul Sykes. Uh a few years back I had um I did a book called Tales of Pugilism and uh I spoke to um Colin Hart who a lot of people will certainly in this country a lot of people will will recognize as kind of the the voice of British boxing if you like and uh Colin he's he oh, must be mid 80s now really really studied studied the game um I can't think of anyone who is more clued up on on boxing um British boxing but just you know overall um pugilism and uh I had a good chat with him a few a few times and he was telling me all of the fighters he's watched and all this and um we started talking about maybe the the worst characters ever the the baddest of the bad if you like the kind of really bad to the core and uh he's read some of my books and he basically come out with and he said uh you know of all the characters i've ever seen certainly in, in british boxing paul sykes was the baddest um you know a lot there's lots of people know the story of um Mike Tyson being arrested X amount of times before he was 12. Uh, Sonny Liston actually learned to box in prison. Um, there's so, so many fighters off the top of my head that I could name. Um, Audley Harrison, Anthony Joshua, Martin Murray. Um, there's a lot of fighters that even went to prison after their careers, like Graham L. So, you know, boxing will always have that stigma um attached to that kind of naughtiness and um yeah paul sykes he was um obviously he boxed from the ages of from literally 10 um represented every level as an as an amateur um won national titles and uh when when into prison from 17 to 30 and in actual fact, um, not many people are aware of it, but from the age of 17 to 30, Paul Sykes was only at his liberty for for nine months. Um, and in that time, come out and got to the to the ABA, ABA finals, ABA semi-finals, beaten by uh, a, a guy from the West Midlands called um, Garth McEwen. Um, Sykes was a lot heavier than him in them days, but uh, he basically hit and ran and uh, boxed Sykes' lugs off. But you know, getting to a semi final of an ABA in nineteen seventy three um, was was a lot more than it is today. Um, you know, in the, in the ABAs these days, the top three or four don't even go in because of the GB squad. Um, you know, where back in them days, or even even so much as twenty years ago, the elite, the best of the best, went in. Um, but Colin Hart said to me, you know, there's a, boxing will always be attached to um, to your bad guys if you like, you know, and and it's purely because a lot of bad guys get used to be debt collectors. You know, growing up, basically, you know, whoever could punch the hardest was the got what he wanted in the street. And um, Paul Sykes was just really, really bad to the core. Um, institu institutionalized in every aspect, and um, you know, went in, went into prison when he was seventeen. Come out when he was thirty, albeit them them nine months when he um in the seventy three seventy four when he got to the ABAs, he probably should have went pro then. Um, I I'll never understand how the British Boxing Board of Control knocks knocks Sykes back. In 1973, and then when um he committed another robbery in uh Haverton Hill near Middlesbrough, so he got out in 1977, and then he was then he was um awarded his his boxing British Boxing Board of Control license, which that was predominantly down to um John Spencer and Tommy Miller alone. But uh, I listen. There's a lot of there's a lot of boxers, a lot of tough guys, there's a lot of um. There's a lot of people who spent a lot of a lot of years in the Britain British prison system, 
Um, but that was just what Colin Hart said to me. Obviously, Colin has, uh, has studied the game from probably the, the 40s, the 50s. Uh, Colin is of Jewish descent, so he grew up in the East End um, watching... You know, I can't think of many people who would um, know boxing as well as he does. And, and he said to me, he said, out of out of all the, the ever fighters ever to grace a British ring, he said, none were as bad as the guy you wrote about. Um, so that was Colin Hart. So so I personally think it, think it was. Obviously, there's a lot of bad guys in America. Uh, Mike Tyson off, was often quoted and said, Sonny Liston made me look like a choir boy. But in the British prisons, in the Brit British systems over here, um, you know, I, I don't think there was many characters who just literally had prison all the way through them. Um, and that was, you know, in, in, in every aspect of his life from being young to to even being an old man. Um, he was still, the last prison sentence I am aware of, he, uh, he was in Armory Prison in 2005. Um, so he died in 2007. So he was literally went in prison his whole life and um you know if Col if Colin Hart says that Paul Sykes was probably the, the naughtiest character I mean that Steve Bunce I quoted Steve Bunce uh he sent me a, a message for a, a book I did and he said trust me when I say this um he was just a hundred percent bad man and he said something like um notorious thug is a compliment um so yeah so let's have a look at your comments below guys and see if there's any um any infamous notorious characters in britain from uh in the boxing in the boxing world um i can't think of any who were, who were really that particularly nasty um but i'm sure there's a lot you know british boxing's done um dug out a lot of characters over the years your michael gomez is and all them and Lots of lots of really colourful characters, um, yeah. But in a in a in a and a title. I mean, Sykes was the British Commonwealth title challenger, um. So he's, he obviously got to a a decent degree, and I, I just can't think off the top of my head any um really characters who were just prison through and through as much as uh as Paul Sykes. So, uh, I'm sure you can enlighten me if if anyone can think of any. Don't forget to click subscribe to this channel, guys. And uh, there's going to be some more news in a couple of weeks. We, um, I'm going to be speaking to Western Edge Pictures again. Um, so they're going to give us an update. And there's a lot of things that we can't say at the minute. Um, it's not down to me. It's down to Western Edge not being able to to release some of these things yet. But but uh, I'm sure that this channel will be where you hear first. And okay, thanks for your time.